Hey, my spaghetti's moving, cried Mr. Twit, poking around in it with his fork. It's a new kind, Mrs. Twit said, taking a mouthful from her own plate, which of course had no worms. It's called squiggly spaghetti. It's delicious. Eat it up while it's nice and hot. Oh, it's not as good as the ordinary kind, he said, talking with his mouthful. It's too squishy. I find it very tasty, Mrs. Twit said. She was watching him from the other end of the table. It gave her great pleasure to watch him eating worms. Oh, I find it rather bitter, Mr. Twit said. It's got a distinctly bitter flavour. Buy the other kind next time. Mrs. Twit waited until Mr. Twit had eaten the whole plateful. Then she said, You want to know why your spaghetti was squishy? Why, he said. Because it was worms, cried Mrs. Twit, clapping her hands and stamping her feet on the floor and rocking with horrible laughter. November 1918. After four years of World War I, Germany's emperor, Kaiser Wilhelm II, had been forced to abdicate. His armies were being ground down by a remorseless offensive from British, French, and US troops. His people faced starvation, but already a dangerous myth was taking root. The German generals and troops claimed that they hadn't been defeated in battle, but betrayed by their own cowardly politicians. Even so, at 11 in the morning, on the 11th of November 1918, the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, World War I came to an end. Booking a hotel. Hotels Combined has a huge selection of offers and deals, all in one place. Simply search, select your options, and find a great hotel deal on every device. Compare with the bear at Hotels Combined. A car that can actually see like a human. Using stereoscopic cameras, and even stop itself if it has to. The technology may be hard to imagine, but why you would want it is not. The 2014 Mercedes E-Class. It doesn't just see the future. It is the future. Your donation to Oxfam helps lift one life. And when one life is lifted, they lift others. Give a pound a week. Text LIFT to 70061 now. As a professional voiceover artist, cold and flu can really mess <coughs> up my schedule. Indeed, up to... <coughs> turn up to a recording feeling like this. <coughs> Fortunately, there's Lemsip Max All-in-One. Its max strength formula helps to tackle those nasty cold and flu symptoms in just five minutes so I can get on with my job. Lemsip Max All-in-One, our best ever range. Where are you? Are you in bed? Or are you leaving the first human footprint on Mars? A voice in your ear can take you anywhere. Audible. Get your first audiobook for free and feel every word. I had stayed alive because I had chosen to sit at the front and not the back of a bus. I was alive by chance and chance alone. Now ask if I feel guilty. You show me the point of right and wrong when the difference between dead and alive is that tiny. And the payback? The justice for walking away? For having spent my daughter's first birthday fucking a hooker called Lissy? For being that kind of man? There is none. If you agree to walk and keep on walking, if you stay dead, it just disappears. Conscience, guilt, bullshit. As long as you don't look back. Easy as fucking pie. There were plotters, there was no doubt about it. Some had been ordinary people who'd had enough. Some were young people with no money who objected to the fact that the world was run by old people who were rich. Some were in it to get girls. And some had been idiots as mad as Swing, with a view of the world just as rigid and unreal, who were on the side of what they called the people. Vimes had spent his life on the streets and had met decent men and fools and people who'd steal a penny from a blind beggar and people who performed silent miracles or desperate crimes every day behind the grubby windows of little houses. But he'd never met the people. People on the side of the people always ended up disappointed in any case. They found that the people tended not to be grateful or appreciative or forward-thinking or obedient. The people tended to be small-minded and conservative and not very clever and were even distrustful of cleverness. And so the children of the revolution were faced with the age-old problem. It wasn't that you had the wrong kind of government, which was obvious, but that you had the wrong kind of people.